Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve four questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have negative 6 plus 6 times negative 9 plus 9, then times 7. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have addition and multiplication. Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. Negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. 0 times negative 9 plus 9, which equals 0, then times 7. 0 times 0 equals 0, and 0 times 7 equals 0. They say the final answer of this question equals 0. But this answer is wrong. Again, some people solve this question like this. Negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. 0 times negative 9 plus 9, then times 7. 0 times negative 9 equals 0. 0 plus 9, then times 7. 0 plus 9 equals 9, and 9 times 7 equals 63. They say the final answer of this question equals 63, but this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations, and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. Okay guys, according to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this multiplication. 6 times negative 9 equals negative 54. Negative 6 minus 54 plus 9, then times 7. Now we have subtraction, addition, and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. 9 times 7 equals 63. Now we have negative 6 minus 54, then plus 63. Negative 6 minus 54 equals negative 60. Now we have negative 60 plus 63. The final answer of this question equals 3. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. In this question, we have 2 plus open parentheses, 30 plus 6 close parentheses, divided by 6, 10 times open parentheses, 30 plus 6 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? Can you solve it? In this question, we have addition, parentheses, division, and multiplication. Some people solve this question like this. They say 2 plus 30 plus 6, which equals 36, then divided by 6, then times 30 plus 6, which equals 36. Again, they start from the left and simplify. 2 plus 36 equals 38. 38 divided by 6, then times 36. 38 divided by 6 equals 38 over 6. Now we have 38 over 6 times 36. 38 over 6 times 36 equals 228. They say the final answer of this question equals 228. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. If you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have 30 plus 6. 30 plus 6 equals 36. Now we have 2 plus 36 divided by 6, then times open parentheses, 30 plus 6 close parentheses. Okay guys, now we have addition, division, multiplication, and parentheses. Again, we simplify these parentheses. 30 plus 6 equals 36. Now the question is 2 plus 36 divided by 6, then times 36. Now we have addition, division, and multiplication. First, we simplify this division. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. Now we have 2 plus 6 then times 36. In this step, we have addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. 
because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 6 times 36 equals 216. Now the question is 2 plus 216. 2 plus 216 equals 218. The final answer of this question equals 218. Okay guys, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. Open parentheses, 11 plus 30 close parentheses, then over 5 times 4 to the power of 2, minus 15 divided by 5. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have parentheses, addition, multiplication, exponent, subtraction, and division. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. If you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Okay, guys. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. 11 plus 30 equals 41. Now we have 41 over 5, then times 4 to the power of 2, minus 15, divided by 5. Okay guys, now we have multiplication, exponent, subtraction, and division. In this step, we simplify this exponent. 4 to the power of 2 equals 16. Now the question is, 41 over 5, then times 16, minus 15, divided by 5. Now we have multiplication, subtraction, and division. First, we simplify this multiplication. 41 over 5 times 16 equals 656 over 5. Now we have 656 over 5 minus 15 divided by 5. Okay, guys. Now we have subtraction and division. In this step, we simplify this division. Because division has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 15 divided by 5 equals negative 3. Now the question is 656 over 5 minus 3. Since the denominator of this fraction is 5, we can write 3 as 15 over 5. Now we have 656 over 5 minus 15 over 5. Okay guys. 656 over 5 minus 15 over 5 equals 641 over 5. The final answer of this question equals 641 over 5. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. In this question, we have negative 8 plus 8 times negative 11 plus 11, then times 9. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and simplify the question. Negative 8 plus 8 equals 0. 0 times negative 11 plus 11 which equals 0, then times 9. 0 times 0 equals 0 and 0 times 9 equals 0. They say the final answer of this question equals 0. But this answer is wrong. Again, some people solve this question like this. Negative 8 plus 8 equals 0. 0 times negative 11 plus 11, then times 9. 0 times negative 11 equals 0. 0 plus 11, then times 9. 0 plus 11 equals 11, and 11 times 9 equals 99. They say the final answer of this question equals 99. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. If you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, guys. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this multiplication. 8 times negative 11 equals negative 88. Now the question is negative 8 minus 88 plus 11, then times 9. Okay guys, now we have subtraction, addition, and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. 11 times 9 equals 99. Now we have negative 8 minus 88 
Then plus 99. Negative 8 minus 88 equals negative 96. Now we have negative 96 plus 99. Negative 96 plus 99 equals 3. The final answer of this question equals 3. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.